Hello again, welcome to another dev vlog. I'm Vinny and this is Firestar. I was supposed to release this video last month, but things didn't really work out that well. So today I'll talk about using Navigation 2D node for pathfinding in a 2D side view slash platformer game. I'll show you how I've done it in Firestar and what are the edge cases to think about. If you heard already about the Navigation 2D node, it's basically a high level pathfinding node. You draw a navigation polygon, or multiple navigation polygons, and it calculates the closest path between two points. This works really well for top-down or isometric games, but when talking about a platformer, we have a few more challenges like gaps, gravity, and one-way path. I've tried different approaches, like using tile maps or Godot's A-star implementation, but using a navigation 2D node was the method that worked best for me. Ok, enough talk, let me show you how to use the Navigation 2D node and then I talk about the edge cases to consider. First you need to add the Navigation 2D node to your scene, then you need to define a, your path area. I do that by adding Navigation Polygon instances and drawing them in the editor. But you can also use a tile map for that, or even create them programmatically. After defining the area, you just need to use the Navigation node in your script. The main method you should care about is get simple path. This will give you all the points between your starting position and your ending position. Then you can iterate over them until you reach the end. That's pretty much what you need for top-down games. But when talking about a side view slash platformer, you probably will be handling gravity. Jumping between platforms is simple. The way I solved it in Farstar was adding a ray cast to my character so it can sense when facing an edge and then just jump. Also, one thing I like to do is to detect if the next step is below the character, so instead of jumping, they just fall from the platform. That feels more natural. The one-way path situation is a little bit trickier. I solve this with a little bit of brute force. After calculating a path, I verify if all points are reachable. At the moment, I do that by checking if the height difference between two points is greater than the max height my character jump can reach. If the main path is unreachable, I calculate two alternate paths offsetting the start position of my character. Then I choose the closest reachable one, and if it still can't reach it, I just give up. This path not for me. The main reason this works is because I recalculate my path periodically. In Firestar, most of my targets can move, so I need to sync the path to the target constantly. What this means is that even if I use an alternate start position, most of the times my path is recalculated again before reaching this alternate position. The last scenario you need to handle, and this is not exclusive for platformers, is collision avoidance. You may have a situation like a door being closed or a collider getting in the way. So one cool thing is that Godot 4 will have a new navigation server with collision avoidance included, and many other features. But we don't know when it's going to be released, so for now you have to implement it yourself. There are a few different ways you can deal with it. One is adding an exception polygon to your navigation with the shape of your collider. That's a little bit tricky, and as I haven't implemented myself, um, I won't talk about that. The second option is to detect collisions and try to work around them. My characters have two raycasts that check if the object in their way can be jumped. The bottom raycast detects the object ahead, and the top one tells the actor if the collider is short enough that can be jumped. It's quite basic, but it seems to be all I need so far. When talking about doors, you can use the multiple polygon strategy. Remember I said you can add many polygons to your navigation 2D? Well, you can also disable those polygons independently. So when closing a door, you can disable all the path behind it, or maybe just a small connector between both polygons, if you prefer. In Firestar, I was experimenting with the idea of doors having their own navigation polygon, so they can be disabled when the door is closed. It works quite well. And here's a quick tip when working with multiple polygons. For a path to work with multiple polygons, they need to have at least one vertex overlapped. What this means is that you need at least two neighbor points in both polygons, with the same positions. To make things simple for you, you may enable pixel snap in the editor, so you don't face problems with points being a few decimal digits away. And there you have it! So, I created this example so you can see in detail how all those things work. 
You can find the source code in my GitHub, the link is in the description. Besides the navigation logic, in this project you can also find an example of auto-tiling and gravity implementation. This time I decided to make a fancier example project, so I picked a tile set on each I.O. This is a popular one, you've probably seen it before in other videos or examples, maybe on Pinterest, but I want to give it a shout anyway, because it's really well done. It was made by Pixel Frog, who makes some really cool pixel art. So check it out! If you liked this video, press the like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't like, I don't think you would be watching this far, but if you are, leave a comment telling me what I could have done better. That's all for today, thanks again, see you next time.